What's up everybody, 915Mang here doing a video today. This is going to be a long update, but first, before we get into some aquarium stuff, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite TV shows, Breaking Bad, bitch. Excuse the language, but that's uh, what Jesse would say. Uh, it's an awesome show, you can catch up on it. And uh, if you guys haven't noticed, this is Walter White's house. That's myself right there. Um, I'm a big fan of the TV show and uh, just love it. Breaking Bad was filmed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, not too far from El Paso, Texas. Uh, went up there, got the family out of here, and before we left, I had to go hit up uh, Walter White's house. Uh, the owners were outside actually chilling in the garage, and uh, you know, it was cool to check it out. While I was there, we went to the uh, zoo, the biopark, and it has a, a really nice zoo and uh, also a pretty nice aquarium. I really like checking out the jellyfish tanks. I'm going to go ahead and be quiet and let you guys take this all in. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, like to change it up a little bit in the videos. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the 180 gallon, how it's doing, how the corals are doing, and some new equipment that I picked up. One of the things in my videos that I do is I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the problem that I've been having in this tank a lot is Aptasia. What I did, I hit up um, the Aptasia with some calc washer. Uh, I used my mason jar threw a pretty strong concentrate on it with a uh, C-squirt and I hit up that Aptasia. So far it hasn't came back. Do I think that this is going to work? Possibly. Um, I've tried super glue, failed. Uh, I tried peppermint shrimp, only used one pepper shrimp, peppermint shrimp, one or two, failed. Um, I was thinking about using a copper band fish, but uh, they said those work really good, but they start eating your polyps afterwards. I don't know, I guess it's a hit or miss, but instead I had a big big old container of uh, calc washer, and uh, that's what I did. I hit it up. So hopefully this Aptasia goes away. If not, I'm prepared, and I have enough calc washer to hit these Aptasias every single day. But uh, I only did one dose, and so far, so good. Now, as far as equipment, I wanted to show you my new algae turf scrubber from Santa Monica Filtrations. Uh, there's the website right there. You can check it out. I picked up a Surf 2 for absolutely free. Uh, Santa Monica was cool enough to send it to me. And uh, you know what? I just want to show you this. I'm going to show you, you know, the build, how it goes. And I plan on using this in the 20-gallon, uh, soon-to-be 40-gallon breeder. Um, I'm going to use this as filtration. And uh, you know what, it's, it's a really nice piece of equipment and we'll let you know how it goes. 
I was actually thinking about making a DIY scrubber, but uh, they contacted me in a perfect time, and this is great. The good thing about this one is that it floats. I don't have to worry about any salt spray, which is what uh, I kind of had a little problem with, uh, reason why I took it off. Uh, as you can see, it has four bright red LEDs, and it came with a cloth, but I'll do an in-depth video. I just wanted to show off this equipment that I got. Um, really excited to use it and I hope it produces a good amount of algae that I can harvest and uh, go from there. So do your research on it, stand by for some videos, different kind of scrubbers and I can't wait to use this one. I want to go ahead and show you some corals right now, show you how the QP16s are doing. You can see I have a ton of surface agitation. So far the fish are good. My yellow eye coal tank is still in the 20 gallon long but I'm thinking about moving them over or I might possibly keep them in the uh, 40 gallon breeder uh, a little bit once I pick it up. By the time uh, you see this, the uh, dollar per gallon sale would have started Saturday. So if you have a Petco and you want a tank, go hit up one, get one for 20 bucks for the 20 or 40 bucks for the 40 and so on. Um, the last time that it happened, I picked up a 20 gallon tall and that's what I'm using for a uh, auto top off reservoir. I had fragged up a bunch of uh, purple stylos because the stylo in my tank is just grows. It grows and grows and I break off a little branch, go ahead and super glue it and store it um, and just pack it up. I am keeping it in the 180 because uh, I have the T5s set up on this tank and I'm a true believer of the T5s. The uh, bulb combination that I'm using is just the ATI Coral Plus. The reason I chose the Coral Plus is because it has all of the spectrum of the light. Uh, the Blue Plus uh, I was recommended and I'm really happy that I used it. Uh, if you watched uh, Than from Tidal Gardens, he, can't, he was spotlighted in uh, Rico's Reef Tank. Even Than was saying that that's his two favorite bulb combinations which is also mine. Now my tank has been staying nice and cool because of uh, my refrigerated air at the house and I hope that your guys are not having any problems with the summer heat. I know it's been really hot here in uh, Texas and I'm pretty sure it's pretty hot where you're from but uh, you know what I haven't had any issues thanks to uh, my air conditioner running. I have good flow in my house and uh, everything's staying nice and cool. If you did have any issues you could use a controller like a uh, Apex, hook up some fans, throw some chilled RODI water in your sump. But let me know how you guys are keeping your tanks nice and cool. I wanted to show you the sticks. Uh, sticks are still doing good, minus the one that I killed from uh, Battle Corals. Everything is there, doing okay. Growing and uh, the color looks okay. My tank that I'm shooting right now is early in the morning, uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning. and. Uh, Everything is doing good. The uh, Mystic, you can see that big center hump in the middle. I had broke some off and now a couple months later it's spreading all over my overflows. I would hope to have that whole thing covered with uh, just Mystic Monopora. And uh, it'd be great because it's not even shading anything. It's just growing on the uh, overflow. Now I want to show you my yellow scroll coral that I got. Uh, it's really nice and I picked this up from Coral Lust. Very cool. Coralist sent this to me. Um, Billy Pipes and Scott Roscoe's Reef sent it to me. The reason I moved it is because it was taking some uh, damage. I guess it wasn't getting enough light um, on the far right of my tank. I moved it to the center and it seems to be doing a lot better. I'll do a top down shot of it, uh, the whole tank, in another video. And this one, I just want to give you a close up of some of the corals that, are, that I do have. You know, I want to show you that some of my sticks, most of my sticks are all live. And uh, this little anemone right here is looking really good. Uh, it's making me a little nervous, but so far I haven't had any problems um, because it is right next to my wife's pink bird's nest. Really, that's one of the only corals that she cares about is the pink bird's nest. And uh, I better keep it alive, not get it any damage. Um, she got kind of pissed the last time I, I dropped it when I was re-aquascaping my tank. And I had a whole bunch of pink bird's nest frags all over the place. 
So I'm going to keep my eye on this anemone, make sure it doesn't walk around, start stinging corals, and hopefully everything goes good. I think it'll be okay because it seems like it's fully extended, and you know what? It's kind of cool. Um, it has a little bit more color than the uh, other rose bubble tip anemone that I have on, my, on the far left of the tank. Um, as you can see, the reef welder is still holding on to the corals, and I just want to go ahead and show you these agaves. See, I got some 2J. And uh, my buddy Jay Carey over there uh, was did an awesome video of his agaves, and I got mine. And I actually got those from my buddy Albert. Uh, the Everything else, the uh, Zoas, uh, the Blastos that I picked up from Javier are doing good. And I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in on a lot of these Zoas and show you the growth. So as you can see, the Zoas on the far left side are doing really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and show you that... Uh, so far, this problem area that I was having with this Aptasia is still gone, you know, knock on wood. But uh, you can also see I used super glue. It was a big fail. And uh, you know what? The Zoas are doing good. I'm getting a lot of new heads on here, and uh, I just hope to, to keep growing them. Uh, one thing that I did have a problem with is my Harlequin Shrimp has died. Uh, I guess it was too weak, and... Um, when I did finally throw in some chocolate chip starfish, it found it right away, but the chocolate chip starfish fought it and escaped. And then after that, just the hard looking shrimp was too weak to fight it, catch it, even though I pit it right in front of its face, it just died. Um, so I think that the, the hard looking shrimp took uh, care of it because I'm getting lots of new heads from my zoas. My zoas are taking off. And uh, you know what, I might add some more uh, harlequin shrimp just as an insurance safety net another cool thing uh, is you guys yep I just want to give a shout out to Rico's Reef uh, he does those live streams all the time uh, it's kind of hard for me to catch on jump on there sometimes because of the family but it, when I do it's a lot of fun checking it out uh, just reading your guys conversations listening also Aaron's Aquarium uh, I got to jump onto his now his are really hard to jump on for us uh, US reefers because uh, you know what when he does it it's usually late at night and uh, I'll be knocked out or or asleep to be telling you the truth but if you can jump on their live streams it's a lot of fun and make sure you guys subscribe their channels another two channels that are pretty good at the live stream is uh, CJ's of course everybody knows who CJ is and Than from Tidal Gardens uh, Than will usually do those um, live streams live sales and he usually gets off topic but uh, it's pretty funny to check out so if you can check them out pretty entertaining so shout out to all of you guys out there and uh, let's go back and talk about these frags uh, you can see that the frag plugs the frag discs are actually growing coralline on here um, before when I first put them in the tank they were just bright white it was ugly and uh, now that they're maturing uh, coralline algae is popping up on them and uh, these frags are growing all over them on top of them and it's looking really good I don't have that much sand in here the reason I took it out is because um, I would I made the mistake of pitting sugar fine sand now sugar fine sand looks awesome but if you have a lot of flow it just grows all over the place gets on your corals and it's a pain in the butt um, so I siphoned it out in the beginning of the year, I got real sick from siphoning that crap out. Uh, and so I will never do that again. But the payoff, you know, the tank is looking better. Um, I'm going to get some more frag plugs, more frag discs. Uh, I bought these frag discs from a, a no-name vendor from uh, Amazon.com. And uh, you know what? They're doing pretty good. Now, speaking of sand, I do have enough sand in here for my wrasse. Um, I have a Melanaris wrasse awesome fish to have uh, if you're starting off a reef tank if you already have an established reef tank make sure you have sand and get one they eat bugs um, they eat pests they're awesome and uh, they're good community fish they don't bully any other fish and they're cool to watch at night because they'll bury themselves under the sand now I would like to get another wrasse either like a leopard wrasse a peacock wrasse and a yellow chorus wrasse um, you know that's later on in the thing I right now I got to concentrate on my yellow eye cool tank but uh, as this reef tank is getting established 
it's doing good. I only had it up since uh, January, and uh, you know it, it's filling in pretty nicely. The corals are taking off, and I still have more room to grow and expand. Um, I still have that magnetic rock that I'm going to use on the back of the tank. I could stick some corals there. I can glue corals on the wall like Scott from Roscoe's Reef. Uh, very smart. And uh, as you can see, um, I wanted to show you my Jedi mind trick took a hit. I don't know if it's an issue with the ALK or what's going on with it, if it's coral warfare. Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, I do have another frag of this on the bottom of the sand bed. And that one is doing okay. Everything else seems to be doing okay. It's just a Jedi mind trick took a hit. Uh, the nice thing is I fragged out some pieces. I gave some to D. Uh, you know, I just ha I have frags. So if I need another piece, I can go ahead and uh, get one. Now I want to go ahead and show you some of these other pieces. I have uh, multiple yellow polyps all over the tank. They've really just taken off and grown quite a bit. Um, they're not that uh, nice, but you know what? I have been wanting them. I finally got myself a frag. Now I've got tons of frags, which is why I need a 40-gallon breeder to go ahead and clean up some of the you know, excess frags that I do have to put them in there. Now I wanted to show you this, this next frag that I got. It's really taking off. It's growing over the frag plug, and I need to stick it on some rock because, as you can see, it's a really nice color has some awesome yellow, some red eyes, and the green. Now the green, even the green is nice, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other side so you can check it out for yourself and zoom in. And I think this would be an awesome piece to have grow on some live rock and just uh, be different. I think it would be awesome just to have a centerpiece of this rock, of a rock just filled, covered, and crusted, and that'd be sweet. Another, some different corals that I do want to get is uh, torches. I do want to get some more LPS. I think that a, a mixed reef is the way to go just because I want to cram as much coral as I can in here, have it look nice though, and uh, go from there. I like the Lobos. Um, this one really glows at night. It looks really good. And of course, uh, the torch right here. I like to get a gold uh, Aussie torch, the gold gold with the you know the purple tips that'd be awesome uh, just gotta find one that's not too killer expensive um, I want to show you my green slimer it's taking off uh, it's growing in different directions this green monopora is the same thing uh, the cool thing about the green monopora is I actually accidentally broke it um, which I was happy about because it was shading too much but right here on the side it really doesn't shade anything so it can just take off and grow and crust onto the wall. The next thing I want to show you is my skimmer. Uh, skimmer is doing okay. It is, you know, I'm absolutely maintaining my reef tank, but I saw that uh, Deltec is being sold by Marine Depot and I would like to get a Deltec eventually. Uh, they just cost so much, but um, as everything does in this hobby, but I would like to get a Deltec and uh, replace my RLSS skimmer uh, with the Deltic later on. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, this one does good. I just wish that it had a clear uh, air intake so I could see if it was clogged or not. And I also wish that uh, it didn't leak around the neck. The washer that I have there is always leaking. Um, I wanted to show you the uh, sponges on the Aquamax. I had to take it out. Uh, the skimmer, the... Uh, Filter is still doing good, but as you can see, it's springing a little leak. Still operational, still has a little bit of that Kimmy Pure in there, blue, and it's doing well. Uh, for filter socks, I need to go ahead and get some. I'm using just filter floss in the back, and uh, I still have this cotton candy algae right here. It will absolutely go away if I turn off the lights, but I, I've been leaving my light on 24-7, uh, letting it run, and... Uh, that's about it. It really doesn't bother me because I know that uh, pods are growing in there. And as long as it stays in the bottom of the sump, I'm good. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys take care, like, and subscribe. Make sure you get out of the house, take the family out, and you guys have a good one.